Christina Bellantoni is a senior reporter for Talking Points Memo. Good morning to you. Good morning. Alex. So let's talk about these and the other expected changes as you're hearing them right now. What do they reflect? Is this a shakeup that's needed, or is this typical uh, midterm reorganization? It's not that unusual that a president would make some changes a few years into his administration. It's a really uh, incredibly long hours of a job, and people get burnt out easily. They want to return to spend time with their families, even though we sort of make fun when we hear that. That does happen. But at the same time, this is all happening before the election, in part because President Obama wants to send a signal to Democratic voters that are a little dispirited and that his party really needs to turn out in the fall midterm elections. So by sending some of these signals that, for example, Rahm Emanuel, who a lot of people don't necessarily like the way he operates in Washington, and certainly the progressive left is frustrated with some of his actions. You throw in Larry Summers leaving, mm -hmm. similar circumstance. Some people are, are cheering these moves, but it's also sort of gearing up for that 2012 re-election campaign. There's not going to be anything official announced on this for another year and a half, probably, but the fact that his advisors are getting into place is sort of a signal that they're getting ready for it. Okay, but overall, in terms of the staff shuffle affecting the White House, House, because one of the president's advisors told the Washington Post the president, quote, doesn't like new people. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not exactly a classified ad that he's put out there for a new chief of staff. What he's likely to do is, is elevate Pete Rouse, who has worked with him since 2005 when he became a senator. Uh, when Tom Daschle lost his re-election bid in 2004, Pete Rouse was uh, one of Daschle's right-hand men. He was known as the 101st senator, actually, on mm -hmm. Capitol Hill because he worked so well with that body. So President Obama has worked with him for a very long time. He was integral in helping him be a senator, which was obviously successful enough to right. help him run for president. Um, let's take a quick uh, change here with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who could force a vote on the Bush era tax cut set to expire. What's the political calculus behind that move? Well, we at Talking Points Memo have been following this very closely. There's been so much going on with it, but it appears that you know the, the Democratic-controlled Senate has decided not to hold a vote, despite many Democrats making the case that they should. The House is still trying to figure out a way to do this procedurally. It is uh, there are several options that they can do, but politically it's a little dicey. And, and Pelosi is under a lot of pressure from members from moderate right. districts who don't want to take a vote on taxes, and then members on the left who do. All right, Christina. Bell and Tony, thanks for that wrap up because Thank that you. is a wrap.